2007-2008 time frame, we noticed that the energy codes were increasing in complexity and that systems were going to be required to meet code, especially as it got uh, more intricate in the future. So color changing is actually one of the latest things to add complexity to lighting and to lighting controls. So we've actually partnered with somebody who's an expert in creating light and tried to take the simplicity of DLM and lay it on top with an automatic behavior to simplify the installation for the contractor. So here we have a switch that has a real-time clock as well as an awareness of the latitude, longitude, position of the site. By entering that information, you can actually sweep through a series of colors that match approximately what the sunlight behavior would be on outside, reducing glare, reducing contrast, and increasing comfort. This cycle is accelerated in the demo, so you can actually see that additional programs are activating, causing the light to cool as it would in the middle of the day, and then to increase in intensity as people begin to wake up, perhaps if they've had their coffee now. We can also interrupt that sequence with manual overrides. So intensity is a separate parameter from the color temperature. So increasing the brightness or decreasing the brightness of light is a separate operation from the color spectrum content of the light that's actually being produced. Some simple overrides that we might could provide would recall specific patterns that have a specific color intensity, color correlated temperature, um, or any other of the parameters that the light engine that we happen to be working with at the time enables. This demo has been constructed in partnership with our friends at Luminetics, who actually we believe have a leading and interesting technology there, but digital systems communicating as a small network inside of lighting fixtures is how technology is evolving as the technologies to make light engines start to look a lot more like the the technologies that make up all of our phones. So lastly, I want to show pure sunlight produced with electricity. By ramping up the CCT all the way to the full extent, we get to 8,000 Kelvin, what would typically be thought of as a very bright blue. But by using the mixed LED lighting, we can see that we have a much more pure light content and even spectral response across that range. This is a technology that we think is very interesting in a general lighting application, but till now, there has not been a system that enables that to be deployed simply like there is with DLM.